in the last game against uh, the Cavaliers. Allen Iverson shot eight for 11. You got to keep him down in the round five or six area if you can. And you settle back into joy. It's time to go to the hoop right here out of the gun on Fox Sports Net. Allen Iverson teeing it up early. Uh, Jermaine Joe to the front court for the Cavaliers by two and with it here in the early going. Mim with that quick jumper over the top of Matumbo it rattled and fell. Tear during that time period as far as getting into the lane and that's what Matumbo is generally concerned with clogging up that middle. Cavaliers get a rip away. Numbers now. Andre Miller to push it. Andre's leaner is going to drop. And it's always painful to watch Matumbo get into that to gather himself for that hook shot. It's not very pretty. Lamont Murray fly into the hole and posterized to Kimbe. Dial up that three. Harpering and Matumbo battle one another and Matt Harpering was able to save. Iverson crossing over, found Derek Coleman who went glass. And got some help defensively, but Sixers able to still clean it up. Now Lamont Murray off the screen. Lamont's jumper is right there. If I'm going to miss shots, at least I'm going to be aggressive in looking for my offense. He was very tentative in Philadelphia. Andre Miller with a rip away. Cancel push. Person to fly to the hoop and put it down. Some new faces, mind you. Chris Mim not able to connect on that jumper and handled it all the way up the floor. Matt Harpring will reverse. Andre Miller will handle against Eric Snow. Got a mismatch with Lamont Murray. Lamont will fade away and fill it up. And then the offense will come. But I think Chris is such an offensive minded guy, he's trying to do it the other way around. Mm -hmm. Chris has been talking about that as Iverson raises up and rattles down the deep jumper. Six man of the year last season in the NBA. McKee replacing Matt Harper. Amon Murray's going to take it right at McKee. No look to Andre Miller, who's going to get to the free throw line. Uh, kind of lay back trying to put a flipper up there. Strong statement for you as uh, wow. you, you assess going yeah. after. This might open some things up for the perimeter players right now. Instead of two big men like Coleman and Matumbo oh. clogging the lane, it'll just be uh, Coleman and Ruffin should get himself out of there. Allen Iverson to stick the second of his jumpers after Derek Coleman kept it alive. Now, usually bad things happen to you when you give up second shot opportunities. It's the way the Cavaliers have been playing throughout the first 20 some games of this season. Jermaine Jones with a wide open look that he'll cash out. He often makes the game, because he's so talented, he makes the game look easy. Mm -hmm. And consequently, it looks like he's not trying all the time. A West person with a sweet slash. Jewelers and all of us at Fox Sports Net. 21 17. Cavaliers by four. Iverson to lift mm -hmm. it and lace it over Andre Miller. The 14 second mark. So there's Adrunas in his five games. Cavaliers have won three of them. Andre Miller, tough jumper that goes. Well, you don't see that too often. Derek Coleman diving headlong on the floor for a loose ball. A Brian Stitz ball oh, pass ripped it. away. Look at the anticipation, Andre Miller. He wanted to wrap around Zadunas Ogowskis. Just stepping in the path, and it looked like Aaron McKee never saw him coming. Smart foul there by Michael Ruffin to prevent some kind of an easy basket for the Cavs. The Philadelphia centers tonight, the trio with seven fouls between them. Here's one of them, D'Alembert going to work. Went glass with a nice covering uh, Cleveland, uh, the professional teams, and the suburban teams as well. Uh, so to Terry and sons Joey and Carter, we send our condolences to the Stitt family. And we're back within one, looking for the lead on this trip. Andre Miller and Lamont Murray playing two-man. Andre will set up for the deep jumper that drops. Philly by two as we approach the three minute mark. West Person's going to raise up and stick the jumper. Person, Iverson with Miller in last year, for example, earlier in the year, the uh, 76ers would try to keep Iverson off Andre Miller about an hour ago. Yeah, he uh, sat down with four minutes left in the opening quarter. Allen Iverson skating baseline and that runner is perfect. He always seems to shoot the ball well here in the gun. Coming in five for ten from the field so far tonight. Got seven assists to go along for those ten points. Cavs down by six. Eric Snow and Allen Iverson. Andre Miller now looking to split the pairs. You get a good look at the MVP of the NBA a year ago. And 
Finished that off, Matty, by averaging 32.9 points per game in the playoffs. So that, uh, that shooting arm of Allen's, uh, I think, <laughs> might have fallen off in those 22 playoff games. He took 660 shots in the postseason, and he is shooting and filling it up here tonight at the gun. He can get him up there. He'll take as many shots as he needs, and it turned out to be a major weapon in their series against Milwaukee. Even his misses turned out to be almost like assists yeah. because the uh, Sixers were getting on the offensive board so well. West person with a deep triple on Dre Miller to the offensive glass and finishing off the person miss. Cavaliers trying to hang around down by five, and the Cavaliers with only 14 second quarter points. As we come inside the 60-second mark, Iverson with a step going high off that glass with a deft touch. Zone defense and still Iverson with his quickness. And it certainly uh, rang true for him a year ago. Cavaliers win that tip. Now Andre Miller, good look to West. Person who went last. Terrific find from Andre and uh, good movement from West. As he has fallen asleep on a number of occasions. However, he does not fall asleep at this end of the floor. With eight seconds left, Iverson will step back and stroke the deep jumper. Four seconds left in the quarter. Lamont Murray out of the backcourt. And that will end the first half of basketball. Zadrunas Elgaskis was on the floor. They were focusing on going too much to him, but it really wasn't inside. Z was catching the ball out about 16, 17 feet. All right, let's see what the third quarter brings. Jermaine Jones is going to raise up and fill up the jumper. Absolutely no respect <laughs> for the senior citizen. He picked up three click fouls. Many he didn't block a shot last night in the loss against Milwaukee. Jermaine Jones pass a little bit lazy and Allen Iverson snapped it away and then drains another jumper. He's got 18. Iverson came off the Matumbo screen. Matumbo set another high screen for the answer. Allen Iverson's got it going on as he continues to scorch the Cavaliers. Chris Mim with a couple of free throw makes. Chris with four now. Philadelphia lead is nine. Iverson 10 of 15 from the floor tonight, making 11 of 16 as he is electrifying here shooting. Uh, needs some contact, huh? Needs somebody in the vicinity. Uh-oh. Andre Miller. Now Jermaine Jones from the baseline to fill it up. Iverson, give it up to Snow. The swing foul Coleman. Bodies flying everywhere. Rip away Andre Miller. Person to the hoop Whoa. and put it down. <laughs> Boy, they covered a lot of ground with one pass there. As it appeared, Wesley Person caught that ball at just inside the three-point line, got all the way to the hoop. Aaron McKee. Michael Ruffin. Zadrunas got a piece. Cavs digging in at the defensive end right now. Crowd starting to get into it. Wesley Person will dial some long distance for the Cavaliers. Monty McCutcheon standing right there and went to the whistle. Iverson with a step through the paint and the floater that falls. The lead back up to eight again. Andre Miller turned the corner and got shut off. Person to triple. Bang! West Person feeling it now from long Distance. And just that little penetration by Andre Miller after the offensive end. Person from deep. Fill it up. Oh, he's scorching right now. Player now, Michael Ruffin, shouldn't even worry about him at the offensive end. Should be looking to clog that lane. He's got to step up higher. Come on, Murray to stroke the jumper over Aaron McKee. Cavaliers crawl back to within four. Iverson looking to go to work on person. Aaron McKee got to the dotted line and fills up the jumper. It all reads 70-65 Philadelphia by five. Andre Miller's 17 assists has tied his career high and just three off the gun arena record of 20 held by both Jalen Rose and former Cav Brevin Knight. So, quarter number four begins. And Dikembe Mutombo is back on the floor with Iverson Coleman, Raja Bell. As Iverson glides to the hoop, that'll go down with one coming from the line. For Iverson, which I said would be a, a big factor in this Sixers in the past, 
that go to the line 27, 28 times a game with regularity. This time, this year, not much at all, about 17 times a game during this losing streak. Make it assist number 18 for Andre Miller to Kimmy Matumbo, who has not been a factor tonight. Iverson off the Matumbo pick. Shot clock at three. Andre Miller stepped in a passing lane. Matumbo is just getting up and joining the fray. Andre had it slapped away and got it back. Now Miller in the paint. Good look at it. Rattled out. Brian Skinner on the oh. offensive glass and gave it right to Allen Iverson. Davis got back the challenge, but Iverson rolled it home. Chris only went 12 minutes the other night in Dallas and trying to shake himself out of the throes of some offensive lethargy as Iverson continues to drop jumpers all over the gun. Allen Iverson now with 31. Uh, you try to put a bigger player on him, and he's just too quick, able to uh, use that little escape dribble to create space for himself. And he's in a terrific rhythm with his jump shot here tonight. Mim from the baseline. Got it. Chris Mims hit two in a row. Uh, John Luke is showing some confidence in Chris Mim, who has struggled, well, really, the last 10 games or so, but in particular tonight. Coming up with a couple of field goals here in the early fourth. Cavaliers left Eric Snow all by himself as he drains a jumper. And make guys like Snow and Roger Bell shoot from the perimeter. Matumbo switched off momentarily. Skinner all by himself to crush it on Matumbo. You, you turn your phone off at night with that crew. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get those phone calls. Shot clock at two. Iverson a rip away and the solo for the easy deuce. A bump the lead to eight again. Well, that's big, Matt. Yeah, that first field goal make of the night, six point game, halfway through the fourth. Zadrunas Ogalskis ready to check in. Davis had a rip away. Philadelphia's lead is six, and Allen Iverson always seems to have a wonderful and fond moments here at Gund Arena, and he's having another one tonight. Well, the good thing for the Cavaliers, they've kept him off the free throw line only once tonight, but he's had the jump shot going, he's had to stop. On a dime move, raising up and shooting the jumper for a guy shooting 36%. You would never know it. Contact and never came. First time tonight that Z has been able to work against Matumbo, and that's the best defensive play Matumbo has made all night. Everybody he has looked at scored. Allen Iverson just beat Ricky Davis back door for the quick hit. Lamont Murray back at the floor right now as the Cavaliers have fallen behind by 10. Well, Ricky Davis had to give it up. Shot clock inside 10. Andre Miller will elevate and lace a jumper. Now Davis going to come way up top, and Derek Coleman stole it away. And Andre Miller got it right back for the Cavaliers. That the Sixers will look for. Iverson off of the tumble pick. Oh, Ilgowska slapped it away and appeared to get all ball in the play. On uh, every Allen Iverson offensive maneuver. Now, uh, Allen, not only a ton of fans in Philadelphia, but all over the NBA. All right, so the Cavaliers uh, need to execute and execute well here in the offensive end. Andre Miller trying to turn the corner, going to go glass. Andre to connect. Unless you go inside first. Andre Miller trying to turn the corner. Andre gave it inside to Z. Quick hit, Cavaliers, four point game. That's easy enough. The penetration of uh, Andre Miller drawing the, the, uh, the Kembe Matumbo, which enabled Big C to get open. Zadrunas has got to rip away. Miller will cross over, go all the way to the rack, and got swatted by Mount Matumbo. His first of the night. Well, the lead stays at four and a two possession game. Iverson. Fill it. Six point Philadelphia lead. Cavs want a timeout. Well, the Cavaliers will talk about it now. Again, get another ball handler out on the court. Good foul shooter. West Person fighting it up and down off the glass. Now Harper in across the timeline. West Person is down. Miller with a steal. Person all by himself to throw it down. 93-91. Well, this is wild now here at the finish. Harper oh. trap and threw it away. Ricky Davis.
Close for the tie. Murray inside. And it's slapped away and no whistle. Got a foul. Amazing how the Cavaliers have been able to get back into this. Iverson didn't get it. And it came right back to him. And the Sixers are going to win it. Well, Andre Miller with 22 assists and nine steals, career highs for both. Cavaliers had it early on, but not late as Allen Iverson had 40 tonight. Don't forget, we'll be back during the Ohio Sports Report for a full wrap-up coming up next. Now, for all the crew here at the gun, for Bill Needle and my partner, Matt Gukas, I'm Michael Regai. Thanks for your chaos company. Philly wins it. So long, everyone.